eagerly anticipated race. Now, this is a really interesting stat. Laura Muir and Sophia Enoe, two of the standout athletes in this. They first met in 2015, and Laura Muir has never lost to Enoe over 1,500 metres. In fact, she's been beaten by the pole once in 25 meetings at the uh, Eni Szewinska Memorial in Poland. And that was over 800 metres. So many athletes looking for a good race in this. And some with very busy seasons, including Muir, the defending champion, who won the Commonwealth Games for Scotland, and got an 800 bronze. Anoi, who was second behind Muir four years ago. What about Kieran McGeehan, a big Irish hope? She won silver at the Commonwealth Games, the 30-year-old from County Down. Hannah Klein, the home favourite, the 2017 University Games winner, and European indoor bronze medalist Syed Zabatini of Italy, someone who's disqualified the World Championships for a shove on uh, Winnie Nanyondo, but took a wonderful European Team Championships and European Under-23 double. It's a sensational field, and delighted to have Hannah England, the World 1500 metre medalist, alongside me. Hannah, what do you think of this race? I'm not surprised by the front-running tactics of Ireland's Kieran McGeehan. She's super strong this season. She's spoken about how she's improved as an athlete mentally and physically. She skipped the World Championships to focus on the Commonwealth Games. That bought a silver medal and these European Championships. She got a bronze medal back in 2016. Kira McGeehan trying to get herself on the podium again. Claudia Bobasea is a great front runner. If she's at all unhappy with the pace as we hit 400, I'd expect the Romanian to whiz round as well. Not surprised to see Laura Muir at the back. 64 seconds through the first lap. That's around about 4.02 pace. So really good moving. Safira Nui biding her time. The Polish athlete towards the back of the track. I think she'll wait for Laura Muir to string round her. But Kira McGeehan has got the lead. Leading can be stressful or relaxing, depending on the type of athlete you are. Kira McGeehan at the moment looking relaxed, but how is she going to respond when people try and challenge her for that lead? Well, we know that NOE and you both have uh, terrific kicks. As you said, they're just hanging towards the back of the pack at this moment in time. McGeehan at the front, Bob chair, yes, a great front runner, someone who's consistent in making major championships, but a best of only six at the 2019 European indoors, so we'll look to place higher as Muir now comes toward the front with two laps to go. What a move off Kira McGee, and she was waiting for that. She used the big screen. She saw Laura Muir coming, and if anyone was watching, she actually stepped to the outside of lane one to say, no, Bob Atreya, I am getting on the shoulder of Laura Muir. No one else is going to have that pole position. Laura Muir loves to run a big last 500 metres or so. 2.11 through 800. It slowed ever so slightly, so Ireland's Kira McGee, and perhaps just at the front, so she could do exactly this, track Laura Muir. But Laura Muir will build her pace. It might be a dramatic change of pace or it might be a horrible, t slow turning of the screw. But either way, Laura Muir is where she likes to be in major championships. She's up in the top. She's leading. This time round, it will be the bell. We can expect Laura Muir to kick hard. Can Kira McGeehan of Ireland live with her? Sophia Anui, as she so often is, is a bit far back in the pack. She's got a brilliant finish on her. Sabatini, an improving young athlete, hanging in third place at the moment. It's going to be a dramatic last 400 in the women's 1500 final. Enoe gradually building, but look at Laura Muir upping the pace now, working those arms hard. McGeehan tried to react and go with her. Enoe knows that she's got a big job to do now to try and manage this gap. Laura Muir only looking ahead now. Boba Chea drifting back into fourth place. Sabatini among those also being dropped. But is this going to be between Muir and McGeehan? So, the Brits now, look at her steely determination. Coached by Andy Young, who all of his athletes seem to say that he is the best coach. He's world-class. McGeehan, also gritted, right behind at this point. NOE, surely too much of a big job to her to improve her position. We know how fast she is over the last 100. But Muir, what a masterclass from the Scots. The gaps opening up incredibly in this last 50 metres, the crowd roaring Muir home. What a sensational performance to defend her European 1500 metre title. Laura Muir in 4.08 and McGeehan, she punches the air with delight. Such a great performer with fantastic personality is McGeehan.
and she improves on her bronze medal from Amsterdam in 2016 with Enoi getting the bronze one place lower than Berlin and that record of Muir against Enoi remains even though we wondered whether the pole might be the fresher of this particular trio wonderful to see this sportsmanship with the two holding hands while absolutely exhausted on the track Ah, Kira McGeehan of Ireland. What a brave run. Same move as the Commonwealth Games. She went, anything Laura Muir can do, I've got to try and do. I've got to believe in myself. I've got to hang on to the Olympic silver medalist. But Laura Muir, what a season she is having. Bronze medal at the World Championships, a gold and a bronze in the 15 and 8 at Commonwealth Games. And then she completes three major championships with a fourth medal. Let's look at it again, and it really was a masterclass. I mean, the talent of Laura Muir shines through, but it was also the perfect tactic. She just made it over the final 450 metres, just too hot to handle for anybody else. Kira McGeehan did her level best, but this is the point where Muir heads for the front just before the bell and just tears the heart out of this field. Kira McGeehan, you have to give all credit to her for bravely following in... Muir's footsteps. It could have all so easily have turned to difficulty. Nobody else had the courage to follow Laura Muir, and I think they will be regretting it when they look at it. But let's also look at that time. 4.01.08. Nobody but Muir on the European stage has actually run faster than her anyway this year. You know, it seems only a few years ago that Laura Muir was uh, without senior international medals despite her incredible times obviously winning in Berlin four years ago someone who's focused on so hard and training to become a wet vet she missed the Commonwealth Games due to those veterinary exams but now has a wide collection of medals across the Olympics World Championships Europeans and Commonwealth so the busy Muir and McGeehan this year first and second ahead of Sofia Enoe of Poland Bob a chair fading towards the end of that race, having led early on. Second round in the men's discus. Lechner trying to find improvement on his 66 metres, 67, moving towards the end of this second round. Lechner kind of looks determined after 66, 67. I kind of felt like he knew what he had to change going into this second round effort. Like it could be a little bit better than his 66 67, and he did like it. Smiles all round from Nicholas and Etna, of course, his dad. Regilius won a silver here 20 years ago. And Lechner, good enough up into second place at the moment, 67 26. I'm sure he'd love to beat the mark of his dad's silver medal and take a gold here in Munich. So the action coming on thick and fast. We've already got the men's discus starting to reach a very thrilling position. Now, the second field event final of the evening, the women's triple.